Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. What are we going to talk about today? Well, it's near the end of the month, so it's time to talk about what's going to be coming up for the next month in Fago. That's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. This is the third time I've had to record it because I keep messing up. <laughs> so it takes a lot to do this. But anyway, let's uh, let's get right into it. So first, starting with February, what's the ending currently going into it? Uh, that sentence made sense. Sure, let's go with it. The th current thing that's going on in uh, NA side is that the Moriarty banner is currently up, and then there's also the Advanced Quest Part 2, which uh, should have, according to this, did not last very long. Lasted, uh, <laughs> two days. Um, but we're waiting for the White Day pre-release, and then on February 29th, that is when it's, a lot of this stuff is expected to happen, because that's how it happened on JP. You can see here, March 2nd, and the start of March. Boom. It should be right there. So that's what we're going to be going to. So the first thing in March should be the White Day banner stuff, which should be the White Day Spectacles, aka Caldea Boys 2024 for us. And the, fe the 15 Beast called intellectuals i have been messing up how to say this over all three recordings so we'll start with white day 2024 or caldea boys collection 2024 this is how i've already done a video fully talking about it so just very quickly say it there will be a login bonus where you'll be able to get seven tickets and seven teapots of uh star in the teapots and then also a flames at the end. There'll be a message from Arjuna Alter where he will address the nation. Gift CEs this time will be voiced on a CE. And so when you pick one of them, make sure to pick the boy that you want to hear the most or hear the act of the most. If you're going to go be going for a 3 CE, I would suggest using those for free to play uh, friend point banners. Um, because there's going to be a lot of event coming up. So it should be pretty easy to grind a lot of that, that currency. So it shouldn't be too bad, though you should be trying to save some of it for when we get learning with manga because there will be a friend point banner unit in that one so just kind of keep in mind if you don't plan to go crazy in the lotto uh but yeah picking a five or a four would be pretty solid for this one especially because it does help out with the grinding for the event coming up there'll be my room changes where you'll be able to use two servants in the my room at the same time this is perfect for anyone who likes to take screenshots of their of their room <laughs> you'll be able to show them up there uh, in terms of the backgrounds, those will also change depending on the day, so keep an eye out on that if you want to see your boys on the stage or your girls on the stage, whichever one. Twitter gifts. This already came out in JP, so I assume that even if we don't get these, you'll be able to get them, no problem. And the Merlin uh, costume dress is also going to be coming out related to Camelot and Co. And if you, um, it's free for anyone who clears Babylonia, but if you exchange it, then you'll be able to get it back with the rare mana prisms will be refunded. So you can get it early if you want, and then when you beat Babylonia, you'll get those five back. I guess if you want to do it that way. I don't know who's doing it that way, but if you want to do it that way, it's valid, <laughs> I guess. Next, the actual event itself, the 15 Bespectacled Intellectuals. Uh, I really hope they change that name when it comes over here. It actually just requires you to clear Fuyuki, but you actually, it has main story spoilers that spoil Atlantis and uh, Lost Belt 4. So it's probably a good idea that if you have not beat those, you probably skip the story and just are confused about what's going on. This will also be the debut for Constantine, if you're a fan of Constantine. He, why isn't he featured on this unit, on this, uh, during this event? No idea. They were, they, it was a weird time, alright? It was, <laughs> it was a... Two years ago, my god, stuff was happening. But anyway, in terms of the event, very easy. The main thing you want to get here is a bunch of glasses for all your characters. Um, the characters that will be featured on it. It's a very easy event to kind of just go for, but the costumes that will be there will obviously be Arjuna Altar, which is the big one because he's the one with the actual full done up costume. But then Mo and Kidu, um, I was going to call him uh, Lancer, but Karna. Um, I was also going to call him Noah, but it's Nemo. <laughs> Merlin, Kualter, Gawain, uh, Saito, Medusa. Um, I almost got all of them. Nobukatsu. And then these two dudes. The <laughs> Marie Antoinette's killer. Uh, Hangman, I should say, specifically. And um, uh, Philosopher Stone Man. 
I can't believe I'm just blanking on their name, but they are... For some reason, I want to say his name is Lobo, but I know he's not Lobo. Lobo's the wolf! <laughs> can't remember at the moment. Give me a break on that one. I'll, I'll know it here. He'll, they'll tell me here, here. Where are you? Um, come on, bro. I know you're here. There you are. Sanson and Parsilicus. I would never have gotten Parsilicus's name correctly. I forget him every single time. In terms of the banner that comes with it, it will feature Arjuna Altar and then Saito as well. And there'll be rate ups for all these servants as well. Uh, keep an eye on them, though the upcoming banners are pretty good if you're a big fan of uh, Gilgamesh, so you probably should kind of pick and choose if you actually choose to summon on these. But it's cool that they're available. I'll have videos coming out slowly talking about all of them as they come out, because I want to try and talk about all of them, even though some of these units, it seems kind of easy to go like, hey, why would we ever need to talk about them? I want to talk about them. It is also funny that I just realized that... Um, <laughs> Nikola Tesla and Odysseus are featured on the same day, and then <laughs> they're kind of coming back <laughs> not that much longer, so kind of funny. March 6th, yeah, they, they debuted March 6th, then 10 days later, <laughs> they came back. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Anyway, uh, there will also be a Merlin summoning campaign, if you care deeply about Merlin, which I know plenty of people still do, even if Oberon absolutely hates him and he's bad to go with him there's still valid ways to use merlin you don't always have to just rely on oberon all the time um though i have heard plenty of people saying that they would like to get merlin buffed i still don't fully know about that and i also doubt they'll ever do it as long as there are still worse casters out there to buff they should wait on merlin at least that's how i feel it's a deeper conversation to actually have about the design philosophy about buffing units I think there's plenty of valid ways to kind of go about it. But I'll skip over that for next one. The Battle of New York 2022, which will be the next event, which will actually be Battle in New York 2024 for us. Like I said, Odysseus and uh, Tesla are back. Uh, this is going to be a lotto event. That you will have to have cleared Anastasia, Lost Belt 1, if you want to participate in. Keep that in mind as you go through here, and I also realized I completely skipped something that would help with Anastasia. Let's go to Road to Lost Belt 7, Lost Belt 1 campaign, which comes first. Because um, this will be a main campaign, which you will be able to unlock and do the interludes for servants that are unsummoned for you, which is very good if you want to get some story bits and some sane quartz for units that you um, typically would not get. For example, Ivan, very hard unit to get. Not a lot of people have them. Very hard man, a very elusive man to actually get a hold of. So you'll be able to get a little bit of his story stuff, see what's going on with him, and then get a single Saint Quartz. And if you ever do pull him, his Noble Phantasm will instantly be upgraded for you. The other units that will be on here is Anastasia, uh, Atlanta Altar, Avisabran, and uh, Celiari. There'll also be a movie uh, release, Discover Movie Lost Belt 1, if you want just a quick... Uh, <laughs> Feedback about what happened in Lost Belt 1. Ivan will get a strengthening, uh, which is the Contradiction Mine will go from A to A+, and then they will increase his NP gauge, which will be a new effect, and then increase damage against lawful and chaotic enemies. There will be other campaigns. Main Quest 1 4 AP for Main Quest Arc 1 and Arc Bell, uh, Lost Belt 1 number 1. Free Quest 1 half AP. Until Clear shows up on the Free Quest only, maximum of 3 times that the Free Quest has never been attempted. Um... Applicable quests are the Anastasia ones. Servant strengthening quests and interludes, one half AP, uh, two to X chance of super and great suck, and also double EXP uh, gained when leveling. All the units that I mentioned previously will have that had their interlude unlocked. And then if we don't already have them, they'll get their full screen MP update, which I assume on NA we already have those. Next, the recollection quest, which are really cool the stargazer teapots that will come with it will expire at the end of the month basically what happens is that you have to have cleared anastasia and then recollection and super recollection quests will be unlocked in the anastasia map uh players are not allowed to use two of the same servant from support for super recollection re uh, recollection quests which means that you won't be able to double merlin double um, Oberon. I don't know who's running double Oberon, but let's assume that you were running double Oberon. You won't be able to do pull any of that uh, silly nonsense on here. And these will be the quests. Um, to unlock them, you'll have to have cleared the main quest Anastasia, 
And then by clearing chapter 13, arrow 3, that unlocks two more quests. And then by clearing chapter 20, arrow 2, that unlocks two more quests. And then when you clear chapter 22, arrow 3, that will unlock the final quest. And you'll get three tickets in total and 30 teapots. Uh, something to keep in mind. Nothing to keep in mind. I was going to say I was going to look at the fights, but because this is a recollection, I kind of want to see what they are for myself when I go through them. Because it's been a very long time since I've done Lost Boat 1, so this will be kind of kind of fun to go through. But yeah, there you go. That will be the recollection quests. And then the summoning campaign will feature Ivan the Terrible, Anastasia, Atalanta Alter, Avisa Bron, and Saliari. Um, Saliari and, funny enough, Ivan the Terrible, two units that don't show... Actually, Saliari comes up more than Ivan the Terrible does. I think he actually might be maybe the most popular unit from Lost Ball 1. In terms of um, units that released at that time, not to say that Anastasia isn't more popular with her other forms or something. Uh, and funny enough, I think on NA, some people really like Ivan now because of uh, <laughs> because of the memes that came up with Ivan. I definitely like Ivan. Me and my brother have had many conversations about Ivan, including when we finished recording and we had a deep conversation about some of the body stuff in uh, Ivan, which we want to do. I think that uh, he has a tiny face where the crown is, and then he has like a white beard mustache from One Piece. But then I realized that's a mouth down there, and that's not really how most things work. But anyway, I digress. Um, big, big uh, banner time for anyone who wants to try for Ivan the Terrible, aka my brother. Uh, yeah, you can see right here. You can see here. Here's the mustache, and then here's the mouth. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a whole process here. Anyway, there will be a Road to Seven project that will be launched, which is just their way of saying like, yo. Get ready for Lost Belt 7. It's coming at the end of the year. <laughs> it's coming at the start. It's really funny now when you see the hype up for it. It's like, yeah, get ready for Lost Belt 7. It's not coming for an entire year. <laughs> when this originally released, people were like, okay, so we're going to get Lost Belt 7 this year, right? Which I think, actually, no, it does come out this year. But then the, the banners related to it don't come out until next year. That's what it is. Because uh, Lost Belt 7... Yeah, totally does release. Okay, excuse me for getting it slightly wrong there. No need to correct me. I've corrected myself. And that's going to be the Lost Belt um, 1 campaign for Road to Lo Road to 7. Now, back to Battle in New York. You will have had to have cleared Anastasia. Um, which will, thankfully, there's an entire event based around that. Uh, this is a lotto event. And the most important thing in the lotto is grinding the lotto. Um, in terms of the lotto ground this time, if you don't know what the lotto is, basically it's a never-ending, like box of stuff that always comes up it takes um a lot of tickets to go through a mall it costs two tickets you need basically 600 tickets to get absolutely everything in a box for the first one through ten you can choose not you can if you get the grand prize early which the grand prizes will be the ce which will help for during the challenge quests allure and the golden foes after you get them you can kind of reset but i typically always get absolutely everything in there just because um i guess if you want to be really if you're in a rush for it, then all you need to really do is after you get the main one and the golden apples, because they're the golden apples and silver apples don't carry over. Those would probably be the things you would kind of prioritize, prioritize in this instance, along with the grand prize. But once you hit 11, it always requires 600 and there's no skipping. But for the first turn, you can't skip if you are someone who just does not have time to actually fully commit to a lot of grind. Uh, and the things that will be featured in here are, this time are Cosmic Medallions, two Arrowheads, two Lanterns, three Bullets, three Heroes Proofs, three Bones, and then uh, gems for Saber, Archer, Lancer, Rider, Caster, Assassin, and Berserker, um, both gold, red, and blue, along with uh, 25 EX, 4 XP, 15 3 XP, a single Golden Apple, two Silver Apples, 3 bronze apples, 45 mana prisms, 10.6k red point banners, and 4.45 million QP. And then if you go over here, I forget what they replace them with, but I assume it's just like... I actually don't know what I'm looking at these. I have no idea what they replace them with. They just are gone. <laughs> oh, they replaced it with friend point uh, stuff. Dumb. The, what a terrible thing to replace the golden apples and silver apples with. But anyway, I digress. That's the main lotto, and that's how it's going to be looking like. Obviously, there's going to be an event shop related to it, and this kind of stuff I'll go over more when we actually go in there. There'll also be challenge quest for Battle of New York, the old style, which will be 2018 and 2019. And then a kind of remix style thing will be like a gauntlet where you do a whole bunch of them, and then like you can't use some of the same unit. 
which is sounds really cool and is a super challenging thing. And again, I will actually talk about more when the event is coming closer to it. But just for now, just to let you know, hey, it might be a good time to start getting some units ready that you maybe don't have ready yet. And then there will also be a new challenge quest related to this as well, um, which will feature probably something to do with Tesla and Odysseus. And Summon Campaign. The Summon Campaign, uh, the first one will feature Odysseus and Tesla, uh, Nero and Edison. Uh, Tesla is very good, Edison is limited, and so is Claudius, and I don't know much about Odysseus. I've always had weird beef when it comes to Odysseus. Um, because I'm actually a huge fan of the Odyssey story in general, and I've never liked how they've handled some of the Greek stuff related to them. But that's a larger issue here, and it has nothing to do with the unit itself. <laughs> I don't know actually how good he is, but if you actually know, feel free to tell me. But he is not limited, so if anything, you would probably want to go for Tesla. But uh, he, uh, Tesla is a very good, according to the people who yelled at me last time I tried to downplay Tesla, is a very good AoE buster archer, and that's really cool. Except for none of that shit matters. Next banner that comes literally like a week later, I think, features Gilgamesh and Gilgamesh Caster. Which, if you want a AOE Buster, you may as well Buster Archer. You may as well go for a fan favorite character as opposed to Nikola Tesla, who is not anyone's favorite. But that doesn't change the fact that he's very good and likely has a lot of fans. So it's up to you. But if you're someone who is like uh, fiending for an AOE Buster. You should probably just wait for Gilgamesh, I would, I would probably say. Unless you don't care at all about Gilgamesh. To be fair, I'm not the biggest fan of Gilgamesh. <laughs> and I actually think Tesla probably looks cooler because he does a little bunch of lightning stuff. Um, oh, but that's not true because it, Gate of Babylon is like one of the coolest moves in anime history. It's a really cool-ass move. It carries him entirely. But listen, I have a lot of weird opinions, but either way... This banner is going to be kind of coming up, and he's a fan favorite character, and you should 100% be on the lookout if you care anything about Gilgamesh. Even I want Gilgamesh so I can finally say I have every single... He's the only one from Fate Stay Night and Zero that I'm missing. <laughs> and it actually makes me angry that I do not have Archer Gilgamesh for that reason. But anyway, not enough to make me actually go summoning for him, but just saying. It would be nice to complete the collection. So that's what it's looked like from Battle of New York. Then we have Anime Japan, which will not happen here, which will be replaced with someone else, but this is a stream. Inside, the reason I say that we will likely get a stream of some kind is that because this is does have 16 sync quartz tied to it. And also during the live stream, there was a bunch of reveals for Sea Monster Crisis, the Spring New Master 8 campaign, the Advanced Quest Part 3, Lost Belt uh, 2 Road to 7 campaign, and then the Fogo Learning with Manga collab, along with the Fogo Arcade Unite campaign. Um... So we'll have a stream of some kind. I just don't know of what form of it, but there'll have to be some kind of stream, I, I I would assume. It'd be silly if there wasn't. But hey, as long as they give us a 16 Saint Quartz, that's all I really care about. Maybe not even a stream, maybe a video, and that's good enough for me, honestly. Anyway, next, the Spring New Master Aid Campaign 2022. This uh, the March has so much more events than February did. Actually, that's not true, at least looking at it. Actually, that, no, that is true. This had <laughs> one event, and then... A one and a half event. If I, as someone who did CCC, I'll say that this is a one and a half of this is half an event. <laughs> it's not the full actual event thing of anything. But anyway, I digress. Spring new Master Aid campaign 2024. Uh, there will be a retweet campaign where if we get the appropriate amount of retweets, and I assume also Facebook things because that's how it is on NA. Um, We'll be able to get all this stuff here, which will be five tickets, five million, one rare mana prism, a bunch of St. Quartz, which I think in total is like 12 St. Quartz, five silver apples, five golden apples, 100 mana prisms, and combine five million QP, which would be pretty cool. To actually get the campaign, you actually do have to clear Fuyuki Act 3 Arrow, arrow 1, because they said there is no free lunch here, you better play the damn game. In terms of other stuff that are coming along with it, there's also the Friends List expansion, which will increase to a total of three, which is important for some of the missions related to here. Main quest will be 1 4th AP uh, for everything in Arc 1. Start Dash campaign will have a bonus to it, so if you're really a new player, it's a good time to start because you'll get a buttload right here. It's a lot of same quartz for someone starting brand new. I wish I had that much when I started. <laughs> I had to scrounge up barely 30 St. Quartz on the first day to get anything. But anyway, 
limited missions that will be uh, followed here, which will be uh, friend or follow one to th one to three people, which that will total five Saint Quartz. Uh, level Mash to level 30. I have a servant reach stage ascension one, and then clear Fuyuki, Orleans, and Septem. And that will give you 35 EXP, 5 EXP, and two summon tickets. For everyone on who's already completed this, we will basically a lot of us will just start with these five unlocked and completely done because a lot of us already have this complete. And the new players will have to get them themselves. But uh, the main thing that'll be new here for us is trying to friend or follow new people. So that'll be interesting to see. Uh, not interesting to see. It's literally just clicking. Hey, would you like to be my friend? And since everyone got three friends, it's very easy to do at the start. So let's go. I should also look into maybe cleaning up my friends list a little and seeing if anyone wants in it on it wants in on it or something. But anyway, that's the spring new master aid campaign. There'll be advanced quest part three, which will have um, uh, the dust sea, the bone sea, and the fang sea. So that's cool. Something to do. And then the road to seven lost belt two campaign will also go on, and this will feature interlude unlocks for a bunch of lost belt two servants. Such as Sigurd, Napoleon, Brynhildr, um, Scotty, and Valkyrie. Uh, limited missions will be clear Lost Belt 2. Uh, I cannot pronounce that at all to save my life. But free quests, and if you do that three times, you'll get three Saint Quartz. Um, other campaigns will be very similar to the ones in Lost Belt 1. So main quest, one fourth AP, free quest, one half AP. Uh, except for the half AP, these are all going to be up to Lost Belt 2. Server strengthening quests and interludes, one half AP, two times chance of super and great suck, and also double EXP gain when leveling, two times friend points when used as a support, two times mon points when brought to the uh, Lost Belt 2 free quests, and then there's also going to be Lost Belt 2 free quest support servants and during the events, Lost Belt 2 related NPCs will be available in the free quests in case you want to check them out and use them a little bit because some of these units, Scotty obviously will always be there, but some of these other units, like not a lot of people rock and Sigurd in their friends list. <laughs> I think Valkyrie is also kind of rare too, even though she is an extremely good unit for Lancers, it's just that Parvati does a little bit more um, in terms of AoE quick farming that is. Sigurd will get a strengthening. Uh, which will turn him from bad to, uh, I think, still bad. Da Vinci's Workshop will get Brynhildr's Trial Quest and then also his costume dress, so you can dress up your Sigurd all nice and fancy-like and continue to wait for more buffs for your boy, because he is voiced by Kaiba, and he, damn it, he deserves some form of respect. And for big fans of Setonia, you get a full-screen MP update that is already in the game. <laughs> I think it's already in the game, at least. Uh, last I used her, I remember her being full screen but anyway there'll also be recollection quests similar to lost belt one except for now for lost belt two so obviously you need to have cleared lost belt two and then the unlock conditions for them are clear lost belt two clear chapter 11 arrow five of the recollection quests um which is literally this one um and then we'll unlock the next two and then clear chapter 12 arrow five recollection quest which is the next one right here and then clear chapter 15, uh, tra clear chapter 16, arrow one recollection quest, and I'll unlock the final one. You'll be able to do the super recollection quest for all this, and it'll be good fun times. Basically, you'll get a ticket for the recollection, and then super recollection is the one with the T gazer um, teapots, stargazer teapots. I called them some. I called them the T gazer for some reason. There'll be a summoning campaign, obviously related to Lost Belt 2, which will feature Scotty, Sigurd, Brynhildr, Napoleon, Setonia, and Valkyrie. Um, pretty cool. Um, Scotty obviously being the, the main one that most people would summon for here, because Scotty is very good. And the rest of them kind of depends on a lot of situations that you're in. Um, except for Sigurd. I, Sigurd's still kind of bad. Please buff Sigurd more. Um, but Napoleon, Valkyrie, Setonia, and Brynhilde can all have uses and then can be pretty decent to good. And then also there will be a raid up Craft Essence, that which is the Craft Essence you get for beating Lost Belt 2. I'm pretty sure this is also in Lost Belt 1, but I don't know if they actually featured it on here. Now that I remember, did I click all the way down? Yeah, this also features here, the, the Yaga um, CE. I was like, I remember there was something here. I must have completely forgot. And then also they're removing two CEs. They're removing the old reliable ceiling designation enforcer and 
uh, Holy Shroud of Magdalena. Rest in peace, these two that I will never have to summon for again on one of my summon videos. <laughs> Unfortunately, not more removed here. They should remove more of them. I have so many of them, but maybe that's being a little bit greedy. Some people need to be able to get them their one copy, too. And yeah, I don't know if they'll do this memorial postcard gift thing just because that doesn't sound like a very NA thing to do. But that's all the stuff coming in March. There seems to be a lot more stuff to do in March and that probably has to do with the fact that we have a, a lotto event coming up. Which is good for people who like to crazy grind the lotto and then also if you're looking for actual challenging fights. They'll feature them in there. Obviously the old Battle for New York ones might be a little bit easier but with a new Tesla gauntlet. That might change things, and if you are like me um, and do silly dumb videos with your brother, there'll be daily silly dumb videos related to this one when they finally come out, so I'm looking forward to actually doing that. I like how I was like doing this because I was like, I'm so used to Battle of New York being the Gilgamesh <laughs> event that I completely forgot that this is actually the post- these are the poster children. I'm sorry dudes. I'm sorry bros. Um, and yeah, this will be a very simple event as well. So this seems like there will be more stuff here than there are in February, which I was fine with February being kind of light because goddamn there was a lot of good games that released in February <laughs> at the begin at the beginning of February going on. So I kind of liked the, the break there, so I could like sit back and actually finish Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, which I have by this point, and I can start moving on to some other games. Like I moved on to Tekken 8 and I played a decent amount of that. Uh, I got back into Elden Ring to try and get to Mog so I can be ready for the DLC and then I took a sidetrack to Melania and now I'm going back to Persona 3 Reload I think pretty soon here. Uh, and yeah, March, I'm looking forward to it. So that's the end of the video everyone. Thank you very much for watching and especially if you made it all the way here to the end. As always, if you want to support the show, leave a like, comment, subscribe, it helps out the channel. Um, I should be able to start making more videos now because I have a new phone and actually pretty soon I'm gonna have to start doing some videos to test how those work just so I can test all the streaming stuff to get everything up and running perfectly. If you were wondering how come I don't do I didn't do a lot of gameplay videos it's because it was kind of annoying to cons I had to switch to my tablet and then I don't like playing on my tablet and then after I was done recording on the tablet I had to then remove it to my phone. So it was very annoying, so it ended up making it so I just didn't want to bother with it unless it was important. Like, there was a challenge quest, there was a raid, there was um, a summon banner I wanted to summon on, and there you go. So hopefully there should be more banners like th more videos like that, because, yeah, I'm not summoning on a- there's no summon video uh, for this month. There won't be another one until the Learning with Manga collab, which I'm saving up as much as I can for uh, at the moment for. And I'll be going for uh, Super Bunyan, hoping to get her. And yeah, feel free to tell me how you feel about Norch. What are you looking forward to? What banners are you looking forward to? If you're saving, how comes the arc saving? How comes the summer saving? Feel free to tell me about anything. Do you think there's going to be any specific like spook banners that are going to show up? After Oberon, I'm kind of curious to see if there's going to be any. I've been checking on Korea to see if there's anything that will show up, but nothing so far. On the last video I recorded um, that will not be released. <laughs> My brother did say, like, hey, what if they put Constantine actually related to his event? And I thought that'd be very funny, but <laughs> we'll see. Because Constantine actually, even though he is his first uh, appearance in the event is here, he will not show up until May. <laughs> For some reason. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe he's related to the upcoming Lost Belt that we're getting, which is not Seven, it's Trom. But anyway, I talked enough. That's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, goodbye, and best of luck on your summons if you do any. Goodbye. <laughs>